Hi everyone, it's Mika Fasting Weight Loss. It is Friday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, December 28th at 4.51 a.m. I woke up, I have, okay, you guys know I'm always with my Fitbit. Um, my goal is 6.8 hours. That's the amount of sleep I'm trying to get. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the chart. If it's above the line, that means I got 6.8 or higher. Um, I went to bed at 10.35, or I fell asleep at 10.35, and I woke up at 3.19 a.m. I was like, what is wrong with you? Um, my body, I think, wants to get up and hunt for food. Um, I try to force myself back to sleep, and I just cannot sleep. So, it's Mika Fasting Weight Loss, and I'm all about fasting, um, intermittent fasting, OMAD fasting, um, snake diet fasting, water fasting, or zero calorie fasting. I love all of those methods for weight loss. I think it's the best way to lose weight. Um, just eating in a shorter amount of time, whichever amount of time you choose. Oh my gosh. Okay. So today is day 92 results of my weight loss journey. I started 92 days ago at 273.2. Um, 30 day challenge. Extreme weight loss. Do not do what I'm doing for 30 days. Mm, it's not even necessary. You don't need to lose weight extremely fast. Be patient. Day 27, but I already said I was going to do it, so I'm just going to finish it. I kind of wish I didn't. <laughs> but, oh well. Um, I'll give you the weight for today at the end of the video. Um, I did soft, dry fasting. I'm going to put dry dry fasting okay i said i was doing 11 days of no food okay when your socks don't fit anymore they make good rags like this is kind of rough and they make good white board erasers so 11 days i'm gonna say snake diet modified snake diet because I did eat and I will be eating again. Friday, probably Saturday or Sunday, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna attempt a small refeed and then continue fasting and end the year with a dry fast. Snake diet is Cole Robinson's routine for fasting. That's all it is. You don't eat as um, many days as possible, do a small, low carb um, refeed and you keep on fasting all the way till you're shredded to the bones that's his routine okay and you drink his snake juice which is pink Himalayan he has different recipes the original one pink Himalayan salt and no salt okay so now that we said that I get to drink which I Watch one of Cole Robinson's um, videos on um, dry fasting. This is like a big juicy steak. After two days of no... This is what I'm going to drink right now. I'm kind of excited <laughs> to drink water. Oh, man. So he said to break it with baking soda. I have the regular arm and arm and hammer. Um, he said, like the Red Mill brand that comes in those bags, that's a really good one. But I don't care. I don't know how much he said. How much am I gonna do? This is probably a teaspoon. And baking soda is sodium. 
bicarbonate, bicarbonate. I'm just gonna take a sip, okay. What time did I say it was? I start, it's 4.56. I started, <laughs> I'm excited for my water. Um, I started December 25th, 8 p.m. I had a bad day that day because I ate 11 cheesecakes, <laughs> muffins that I love. They're keto. And I just ate too many of them and I did bad. <laughs> but I only gained 2.2 pounds, which is good. Okay, after refeeding of five days of no food and then a, that refeed only gained a 2.2, that was pretty good. Um, okay, so 8 p.m. to 8 p.m. last night was 48 hours. Eight. I... <laughs> I always embarrass myself every day. I'm at like 56, somewhere in the 56-ish range of hours. So I'm past two days, but I was going to go to three days, but no, I'm not going to eight tonight. I'm good with now. And I got this purple thing that happened to my finger. I don't know what it is. I was like, oh no, what if it's a side effect of dry fasting and my blood is not circulating? That made me nervous last night because I didn't bump it or anything and it's bruised. So I've been doing like things to try to open my veins up. <laughs> Muslims, I'm not gonna keep talking about that, but we always pray before everything we do. Like you put on your clothes, you pray. You walk out the house, you pray. You walk in the house, you pray. You do a just everything you pray. So I just said that because I'm going to drink this water. Now, I'm going to hold water because my body, my body is empty. My cells have released all that water. Um, now I'm putting in fresh water and it's going to fill up those cells. So I'll probably have a weight gain. That's okay. Um, and I'm going to have snake juice or electrolyte water i'm probably gonna have a power aid because it's gonna make me feel like i'm having a meal which is why i do modified snake diet my modification is i add zero calorie beverages sometimes don't do that if you don't have to it's better not to okay but i'm just trying to be real with what i do so you know Ooh, now i took notes now Oh my gosh, Keto Wars. I need everyone to know, I need to make some kind of intro so it's said at the beginning of every video. I am adamant about you choosing what you want to do. Oh my gosh, I watched 20 weight loss vlogs yesterday and I found two ladies at war with each other. <laughs> Keto War, one said it's unhealthy to have 800 calories on keto. Oh, I'm like, really? The other one is like, I'm not taking advice from you when you're obese. I'm not, no, not you. That's not what she said. She said, I would rather take advice from experts instead of people that are morbidly obese. They've been going back and forth with a few videos. I think they ended their war. Great. I wish they would kiss and make up because you're both doing a low carb lifestyle. You're both keto, which is pretty strict low carb. Like, gosh, I wish they would make up and just hug or something. <laughs> um, so I was like, man, first of all, both people feel like they know how to do correct keto. Um, who cares about correct keto? I joined a Facebook group yesterday called Dirty Lazy Keto. I haven't read anything in there, but I'm gonna love those people because who cares, dang. A person is, instead of having a burger with buns, is having a, a, a burger with a lettuce wrap. One wants to eat less calories. One says you have to eat calories like, oh, that's so annoying. I unsubscribed because that's just ridiculous. Don't talk about other people's plans and call them unhealthy. You look unhealthy. Then in the comments, you see all kinds of people standing up for who they follow and then standing up for who they follow. 
disliking each other's videos. I'm like, oh my gosh. And they're grown adults, probably close to my age, somewhere in there. I'm like, this is ridiculous. You don't know it all. And a morbidly obese person still knows a lot. And I would take advice from someone that's lost 50 pounds or 100 pounds. Um, and they know, we research, you know, we know a lot of stuff. Every fat person knows how to lose weight. Like they know. Then I watched one as a response video to someone else's video. I'm like, and then this person was like, don't, you cannot have a cheat day. I'm like, oh my gosh. She's over here trying to lose like 200 pounds. You telling her she can't, I don't know if it was around the holidays, cheat if she wants to. Yes, she can. Um, now, if she keeps on cheating and doesn't stop, then yeah, she's never going to lose weight or she's going to regain it back. She wants to maintain her weight during the holidays. That's a wonderful goal. Like, leave people alone. I applaud those that did not eat on your holiday um, in a bad way or overeat or carbs or whatever and you stayed in a window. But those that didn't, so what? Dang, let them enjoy it. And your goal may not be to get to a certain number. Your goal may be to live a certain lifestyle. I believe in cheats and... Man, if you look at bodybuilders and certain people, it is very common these days to carb cycle. And you're going to have more carbs one day because you're tricking your body, really. I feel like you're tricking your body to, you're resetting your body. And it helps you with weight loss. So I lost 70 pounds like four years ago. And we had a cheat day every week, humongous cheat day, whatever we wanted. And we lost over 100 pounds together. Yes, you can cheat. And when I finish this journey, when I finish this 100 days, I'm probably going, I'm, I am going to have sugar one to two times a month. And I'm going to eat whatever I want, however much I want, because that will make me happy. And I just want to. And let people do what they want to do. Oh, my gosh. I just had to say that. Like, gosh, it is so annoying. Like, I don't care. I follow people that do. I just started following someone that she's going to do Weight Watchers. I wouldn't choose that for her, but that's what she wants to do. And I believe she'll be successful. I follow someone that had um, onions and sauteed potatoes for breakfast. That's a big no-no on my diet. But so what? She's going to be successful too if she eats healthier than she's been eating. Like instead of fast food, she's having sauteed potatoes with vegetables. Like, so what? <laughs> I follow a, a variety of people. As soon as I see you knocking other people's diets or telling people they're unhealthy, because you haven't researched fasting or you have not researched what they're doing, but they have. Like, leave people alone. Okay? So if you tell me that stuff in my comments, like, I lose a little bit of respect because you have not researched what you're saying. You're only going based upon what you think you know. But there's not one way to lose weight. Okay. Uh, let's see. I took notes. Okay, yeah. Cole said to break the fast with the baking soda. I'm doing that. Okay. If you have not water fasted, when you water fast and don't have food, that first bite tastes like the best thing ever. If you have not dry fasted, when you dry fast and you drink water, it tastes like an ice cream sundae. <laughs> it tastes like something so good to you because you've been deprived of anything um let's see okay second day went not great i felt a little weak i laid down on the ground at work during my last client i'm at the end of his at the end of this video i'm going to show you the scales from yesterday that they match um, the new one or the old one, I'm going to keep. The new one, it was only $20, and I want to have the backup in case there's a day I feel like my scale's off, just to make sure. Um, yeah, I did not feel the best. I only did the 20-minute elliptical yesterday morning that I put in the live stream. I only did that because I am nervous that I'm pushing my body too far. Um, and that's it. And someone requested that I do a video, that I start asking my clients, can I do before and after pictures? So I did do a little tiny video clip of the two clients that I did yesterday. I'll try to keep doing that. Some people might be interested, some may not, but it's going to be at the end of the videos if you want to skip it. 
I'm also going to try to put my scale every day. And I think I want to put my food every day. I'm going to wait a little bit. And then I'm going to do another cup with... Oh, I didn't shower for two days. I'm going to take a good shower. Um, but I did wash up, okay? And I did go to work and do two people. And I'm sure I did not smell because I washed up with the rag. Um, so I did a semi... I did a semi hard fast in my opinion. Um, I didn't have lots and lots of contact with water. Okay. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please comment, like, and put every day what you did in the comments. I read all the comments and the older video comments is hard to get to them because they're lost down in comments. So try to put most of your comments in the current day's video. It's easier to get to. But I do read them all and I try to respond to all of them. If I didn't respond um, because I didn't see it because it's an old video. And that's it. I get to drink today. Bye. <laughs>